All right, what's up guys? This is Eugene again. Uh, my final installment of picking up my 2020 Tesla. I would like to introduce you to Elroy. Uh, we finally got some nice, clear, sunny days out here in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's been raining and cloudy all week, so I wanted to kind of wait until, you know, we had a good day. And the parking, well, my parking lot right now, but <clears throat> this is Elroy. Um, my wife picked out the color, the white pearl color. Uh, I got to say, I was skeptical of the color, but getting my hands on it, man, I got to say, it's probably the best color um, they have. I mean, it really looks good, uh, especially the little pearl in it. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but man, it looks good. So I'm getting ready to do a uh, ceramic coating on it um in a few days or so uh, one thing i will say don't upgrade to the um 19 inch wheels if you're going with the sr plus like i did um those aero wheels i pulled them right off while we were in the dealership um, for my delivery and pre-ordered these on amazon the whole set for all four wheels were only 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw that link in there, um, but it really looks good because this is right underneath those hubcaps. I'm gonna get inside, it's a little chilly out here right now and do some talking on the inside, but welcome to Elmo. Not Elmo, I'm sorry, Elroy. Oh, all right. Let me see if I can. I will say if you're on the fence and you're a lot like I was and my neighbor um, on trying to decide if you're going to get if it's worth getting. Um, nope. There's the name error if it clears up. Anyway, like I said, Elroy was a throwback name from the Jetsons. Um, and that was the reason why I went with it. Um, let me tell you, it's, um, it's been very nice, well worth it. Um, for the amount of money that you would spend on any of these other cars that are in my garage, you can get the safest vehicle uh, as far as five-star rating on the crash rating. Um, I don't worry about gas anymore. Charging has been easy. Um, I've used the supercharger a few times to see the last time I've used it. Oh, and I'm still new to it, so now I can't find it. But I think when I'm charging it up, it tells me, I think I paid like $7 to go from, I think I was down to 8% all the way up. And <clears throat> so, um, which isn't bad at all. Um, man, it is a blustery 49 degrees. I don't know why this is not auto-focusing. Um, I'm a little disappointed as Apple. Normally, it does a great job. But um, I'm going to go park it um, in my lift space. My daughter just came home. Um, I, love, I went with the black interior. Because, uh, like I said, I'm doing tech on, on very cheaply. I like to say tech on the cheap. Uh, the black interior is very nice with it. Um, I was going to do the white um, to class it up, but once again, my wife talked me out of that. I'm kind of glad she did. The, not, the black looks very nice. Um, the uh, I've been impressed with this um, glass ceiling um, from front to back, except the uh, this must be like a little cage to protect it. A um, little roll bar, but... Um, it has not, um, I hadn't felt any heat from it. Like I said, I've taken it down to the beach like I explained in the other videos. Um, all right, well, hold on one second. I'm going to go ahead and pull it in the garage. Um, this thing, when I first got it, it took a little bit to get used to driving with the regenerative braking and um, gear shifting. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do a lot of the features of the car because if you're ordering it, I want you to experience it for yourself a lot of people put everything on there all these easter eggs and things of that nature and it steals that joy or that you know surprise factor away but i will say you know it, it's you know little simple things 
um, like putting a car in gear. Uh, that's that has always been. It took me about mm, a few times to get used to that, but um, it's just a simple pull all the way down for drive, all the way up for reverse. Just that simple. Neutral is just one click now. Now the car is in neutral. But like I said, I'm not going to go into that because that's you'll find it out if you're going to order one. And I hope you do, especially if you're on the fence. Um, I did not do the... Um, I didn't do the uh, full um, autopilot. Yeah, I, I do have the regular autopilot, which works great. Um, I've used it coming back, um, and it's what I need. I mean, as far as driving locally, um, I I can do that myself. I mean, now as far as you know, highway driving, you know, road trips. Uh, we got a, you know, a small road trip tomorrow to take. Um, but you know, I'll probably use it for the highway, but as far as, um, anything else, I didn't, I didn't really need to be able to have the car drive me around in the city. I'm not that lazy. Um, some people may think it's cool and it, and it, it probably is. And you know, I'm not knocking the ones that have done it, but for me, I'm not going to spend an extra $7,000 right now. There's no way I can justify that to my wife without looking totally lazy on doing something like that. Um, I'm just going to pull underneath my lift. My daughter just came home in her car, so I'm going to charge it up. Now, I'm one of the fortunate ones uh, where I live in my condo. I actually have an outlet right behind, uh, yeah, maybe about 20 feet. So I bought an extension cord, so I get to charge for free. Um, here my first night I went around looking for a place to charge and it's like the Patty LaBelle song I've been looking around and you've been here all the time um, all right get right back in give me one second and like I told you before I kind of do my stuff live I don't I'm not trying to dress up my stuff to get a bunch of likes for anything I'm just gonna tell you about the stuff I'm doing, uh, whether I like it, uh, whether it works for you, if it's cheap enough to, you know, get your significant other. I have to say that these days because I would have said wife, but I'm finding some um, some women like tech as well. I know one of my daughters do. Um, so I don't want to say wife and not include the other person. So. Um, all right, I'm just backing in right now. All right, I'm done. The one cool thing, just hit this button here, press it, and now you're parked. All right, now I'm in my garage. <clears throat> I'm in my lift space. Um, like I said, there's plenty. If you want, you can look at other YouTube videos. There's plenty of cargo space in here. Um, different things you can hide different items you want in your car um it's plenty big for it um i really really let me flip this around i really 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 enjoy the car um it is a head turner but that's not the reason why i got it um i got it because i got tired of my commute um, and paying the gas mileage on my Jeep Wrangler. I got a 2011 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Um, and it's about 75 bucks for my 40 mile, 40 mile a day round trip. So, uh, 40, 75 bucks a week, mm, you know. So, my wife, she works, um, at the local community college, which is about maybe if two miles. And it's only two miles because she takes certain side streets. I think she makes it two miles. She can, I think as the crow flies, she can get there in less than two miles. But um, some of the side streets are one way. So anyway, so, she, you know, she's been driving. I have not had a chance to drive this thing to work. Now, if you remember from my other stories, she did not want to get this car. Uh, she had the convertible Mini Cooper. And, you know, she just felt that, you know, I was going, I was up to my old habits on just trading in a car every so often. 
Um, this was a hard sell for her um, because, you know, it was going from a car she was very comfortable with. Uh, she didn't feel safe in it because of its size, but she ended up loving her Mini Cooper convertible. But, you know, the car this month in February was coming out of warranty and main, you know, yeah, I can afford the car, but I don't know if I wanted to afford to keep it on the road. There were no issues with it. Like I said, it was a 2017 Mini Cooper. There were no issues. The times I have taken the service, I've looked at the bill. I'm like, thank God it's under warranty. Um, but nothing major. The car ran great. Um, if anything, I should have got rid of the Jeep. But the Jeep is paid for, and it's a Jeep, so it ain't going nowhere. I love that Jeep. Um, I had it since 2011, brand new. That's my Jeep. So uh, right now, she's in. I got it parked. Actually, I got it parked over at another garage. Um, because we only have two spaces here. Um, I rent, I'm renting out a space for it at another garage, so it's only two blocks away. Um, so it stays there now. Um, the only thing we're doing is waiting on our daughter to go to college this summer, and, and my Jeep will be parked in here. But anywho, I digress. Um, like I said, the gear on this car... Um, you know, the things that you can do remotely with this car, I, I'm sure there are other cars out there. My wife is a huge Volvo fan. Uh, she's had two of them. They were great cars. A lot of things that I see a lot of these cars that are doing, that they're doing now, Volvo was already doing it. Um, and I, I would had gone with another Volvo. Um, they just seem in my view have fallen be i mean they are there on the electric vehicle but they're slow to um get it out um where you know the average person can go ahead and get it um my wife is a huge fan we love their safety features we were involved in a head-on collision at 40 miles an hour i think a little bit more uh with the jeep cherokee hitting us head on because it crossed the center it crossed over onto our side we were able to walk away from that so we are huge volvo fans um, and probably will be. Uh, so if, if it's not a Jeep, Tesla, or Volvo, I ain't really looking at it. Now, minus my daughter's Volkswagen Bug, but that's one of those girl things, and she wanted one. I tried to put her in a Volvo, but she wanted this Beetle. So, anywho, um, but I really enjoy this car. El Elroy has been... I don't know why I want to keep calling him Elmo. I, I got to get that name out of my head. But Elroy has been fantastic. Um, I haven't had any complaints. I've heard people complain about, you know, different minor things with the paint or any of that thing. This one here, I will have to say Elon must have rolled this one out himself because it it had no blemishes. There's been, and I'm, I'm going to knock on this fake wood. Um, this car has been perfect. Um now people ask me how quiet is it um of course there's no engine noise but you get your road noise and depending on the type of road you're on um it can get a little noisy as with any car i mean it's just your tires and it doesn't have i don't know if it what sound dampering or dentining process there is on the car or anything like that but um i can tell you on good smooth asphalt quiet um, the black asphalt quiet. You get on some of the roads that, you know, it's got the, you know, gravel mixed into a regular concrete or whatever it is, uh, where it looks like it's got rocks in the pavement. Uh, it could be just that pavement, but, uh, that gets a little noisy, but other than that, quiet, the car is quiet. Um, I, my wife enjoys it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, like I said, it's not, I didn't get it for the ability to turn heads or to say, oh, I have a Tesla. Um, I will say where I live, and I hope it's only been a small number. Uh, the Tesla community seems a little bit weird. I've, I've been in the Jeep community for a while, uh, since 2011, and done some meetups and talked with different people. And... It seems very personable with that group. Um, you know, they share ideas and different things. And, you know, um, you pull up and, you know, someone's talking to you about your Jeep. Since I've been, I've been to a few, um, I've had it on a few superchargers. Like I said, Myrtle Beach and here in Charlotte. 
And I'm just going to say, speak for the ones here in Charlotte, and I hope it gets better. I hope it was just a few, like, just a one-off experience because I hadn't had any. I, I joined the Facebook group uh, for the Charlotte um, Tesla owners. Um, but I, I have noticed it seems kind of snobby, you know. And I, like I said, I hope it was just, you know, maybe it was just cold and rainy outside. Nobody wants to, you know, interact with you or anything like that. But, you know, I'm not asking for the Jeep wave like, you know, we do with Jeeps or anything like that. But, you know, when I was, I, I will say I did have a ple more pleasant experience at the Myrtle Beach location. Um, you know, the people got out and started talking or whatever and, you know, wave at you or whatever as you're parking, you know, as you're going by. But here in Charlotte, it was kind of like, I felt like I was walking up on some old woman that was about to clinch her purse. And I'm, I'm just sitting in my car and they're just... You know, they just stare at you in your face and don't really, don't, don't wink, nod or nothing, which that's fine. Teach is on. I'm new to this community. So, you know, I ain't judging. I didn't get a Tesla to join a community. I got a Tesla because of the reasons I stated in the other videos. I love tech and I wanted something safe and I'm tired of paying for gas. Um, all right. Well, while I'm out here, I got to charge it up. Uh, let me flip this back around. I got a trip tomorrow. Right now, I'm down to 156 miles. Um, I, like I said, I got the standard range plus, which is about 220. Um, I'm, well, 220 if I'm not um, fully charged. But it, I think it's 250 if I fully charge the battery. Right now, I think I have it going up to about 85% or something like that. Uh, let's see if I can find it. And I probably can't. I know I can do it on my phone. I just hadn't figured out how to do this without. And someone's going to say, hey, idiot, all you had to do was do X, Y, and Z. And you could have, oh, never mind. There's X, Y, and Z right there. <laughs> all right. Um, it's a lot easier when you're sitting and not really doing anything. You get to find all these things. But when you're videoing and you're trying to illustrate it, um, makes it a little hard. There's where my charge was. Um, my last supercharger, which I wish I could pay that much to fill my Jeep up $7.99 for a single fill up. Um, but you know, since then, that was what February 9th, uh, right after we came back from uh, Myrtle Beach. Uh, since then, I've been using just a regular home charger, and at from where I am now, I think I get about six miles an hour, so I can get about 220. Um, sometime in the middle of the night but if i plug it in now i'll probably get uh, it'll probably be about one or two o'clock in the morning um before it's fully charged um i've only taken it i've only adjusted my limit to fully charge it which was and i've done that for road trips which was to myrtle beach which i didn't need but i did it anyway um and i'm glad i did on the way back i fully charged it because by the time i got back i couldn't find um any open um, free chargers to well I failed to look at uh, Whole Foods I looked at some of the other locations that are closer to me um, and they had Tesla sitting on it uh, looked like two of them were camped overnight on it which is fine I mean but and I forgot that I had my outlet right behind me so um, you know I kind of I did kind of go into like a little panic I was down to like maybe I think I had like maybe 30 miles before it was going to be done. And, and I thought about my charger, um, the supercharger up in um, the university area here in Charlotte, uh, which was wide open. And then all of a sudden the other visitors came. But um, but at 156, I should be able to get this charge up because I got a trip tomorrow um, driving out to my wife's uh, mother-in-law area um, up near the mountain area. And um, I just want to make sure it's fully charged. Um, it's not a long drive, but I just, you know, for me, I like to keep it up. Um, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Um, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and, and then I should be able to jump right back into this. Another thing you have to get used to is the door. There's no real, there's no door handle per se, which you have to do. There's a button, press that button. It opens your door. Uh, there is an emergency release. I know you're thinking, what if the power goes out? There is a handle right here. You pull it up, and it's the emergency release. But um, you just have to get used to pressing buttons. The funny 
story on pressing buttons with this car. Um, my wife was setting up her seats. Uh, we were going through the whole car setup um, and getting her seat set up. So she's pressing buttons on adjusting her mirrors and things of that nature. And I'll give a quick little display on that. Like here's your mirrors, steering wheel. And a lot of it is you're just using the buttons here on the steering wheel. Um, so when she <laughs> finished adjusting her seat, it was time for her to adjust her rear view mirror. And so she's like, okay, where's the button for that? So I just thought that was funny, you know, and she's like, well, hell, there's a button for everything else. I figured there's a button to adjust that. So, um, that was pretty funny. Um, but other than that, give me a minute. I'm getting ready to plug this thing up and get this thing charging. Um, in fact, I'm just going to wrap it up. This is 20 minutes long already. Um, I will do other videos on different things that I bought for the car. Like I said, I bought two things um, for the car. Um, one I showed you outside, which was those um, the tire caps and lug nut covers. And the second thing I bought were my floor mats. If you get the standard range plus, it does not come with floor mats. I went on Amazon. I paid $39 for these rubber floor mats. Um and they've been great i know you can't see it right now but they've been great um, i know you're not gonna be able to see it back in um but um those are actually two of the things unless you like the arrow wheel look i i that's all i really need now i do have plans to tint the windows slightly keep it legal um because we are down here in the south and it does get warm and i don't want to you know have run the battery for it to be cooling me all the time so i am going to tip those windows um to make it just legal i'm not going dark i've seen people with it blacked out um i don't know why people do that with the front windshield tinted and all the windows tinted um, i tried that when i was younger and i found that it was a waste of time because i always had to roll down my windows to make a a turn um, because you couldn't see if anybody was walking across the street. Um, so I always pray for everyone's safety when I see a car with their front windows tinted and the windows are completely blacked out um, because that's just an accident waiting to happen. That's in my view. Somebody's going to be like, oh, no, I do it all the time and blah, 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 and you're a fool for not wanting to do it. I'm not judging. None of my videos are going to be on. I'm not judging. If you like it, I love it. So it's just not for me. Um, I just... I don't have any intentions on running over a small child, you know, just because I want to have a look. But that's just me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this is Elroy. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy him. Uh, let me. I, if I had it to do all over again, I would build him out the exact same way. There's my arrow wheels right there. These things are just flimsy hubcaps. You just pull them right off. They come right off. You stick stick your covers on the lug nuts and pop your center cap in and you're good. Um, I have heard and seen other videos where people get this charging bag with the charging cord. And it comes with um, different type adapters. The only thing you get with this is going to be your standard um, 110 outlet plug. And this adapter here. I forget what it's called. It's like a J something. I'm not going to even try to butcher it. But it's for when you go to a non um, Tesla supercharger, like a charge point or something like that, you would throw that adapter on so you can plug your car in. Um, there's my trusty extension cord that I keep with me just in case. Um, but other than that, guys, I appreciate you looking at the other videos. I know it's been kind of, you know, Eh, you know, not on the production side of quality. But like I said, I'm not about that. I uh, have me a real job. Uh, I can do the video editing, do the whole fake thumbnails and all that stuff. I'm not about clickbaiting. Um, you got, if you're on here, you're just trying to figure out what it is you're, I'm doing or uh, something that may interest you on what you're maybe looking at doing and just wanting to see other people's opinions i i can't stand that on youtube fall into clickbaits or you know stuff like that so i'm just going to keep it like it is uh like i said this is my 2020 uh, tesla model 3 
uh, Elroy Standard Range Plus. You can't go wrong with the white. I'm just going to tell you, if you're on the fence on it, the, the white, you know what? Better yet, don't order the white. I don't want no one else ordering the white. The white looks ugly. Stay away from the white. <laughs> I don't want to see nobody else with the white. Uh, this, let me tell you, this, man, I, I was going to go black, but man, this is, whew. But all right, guys, I'm, like I said, this is Eugene. I'm going to keep these videos cranking. I got drone videos to do. I got all kinds of other things I'm going to do for you guys. Um, please just, you know, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're looking at it. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are. If you want to subscribe, um, you comment. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.